Pavel Chilishev is without doubt one of the most interesting Russian artists of his time. He fled Russia during the Civil War as a young man, first worked in Berlin, then in Paris, and would eventually settle in the United States. Excelsior is one of the most interesting and intriguing pictures by Chilishev to appear on the open market. First, there's an autobiographical dimension to it. Pavel Chelyshev had a brief period in England. He was uh, close to the English surrealist patron Edward James. He sat at his Sussex estate in 1934, where Excelsior was painted. Edward James was the great English patron of the surrealist. He bankrolled Salvador Dali, but he stayed with him as well. So the people depicted are very close to Chilishev at the time. The figure on the far left is Charles Henry Ford, Chilishev's lover. Charles Henry Ford was a young American poet, together with Parker Tyler, had in 1933 published a scandalous novel, The Young and the Evil. It was really the first very open and candid account of gay life in New York City, unpublishable in, in the United States. The second person is most likely inspired by Charles Henry Ford as well. The third person is Parker Tyler. Charles Henry Ford is depicted with a butterfly mask. Butterfly is obviously something that appears in the work of the Surrealists, a symbol for metamorphosis. The rose necklace is incredibly contemporary even today, although it was painted in 1931. It's a portrait of Charles Levinson, who was a bit of a chigolo, ex-soldier, very handsome, and uh, caught the eye of Chilishev as well as other artists of the time. He was particularly famous for his rose garland tattoo and other tattoos he had on his body. Chilishev was fascinated by it and it inspired him to paint a lot of circus figures at the time. Excelsior and the Rose Necklace are just two works of 17 by Pavel Chilishev, which will be offering from the collection of Seymour Stein. Seymour Stein is not just an art collector, he is a hugely influential music entrepreneur and producer. He signed to his label some of the most pioneering artists of their time, such as the Ramones, Talking Heads or Madonna. The works by Chilishev from the collection of Seymour Stein really give a small overview over the artist's career. The group includes both major oils as well as works on paper, which is a unique opportunity not only for a major collector of the artist's work to acquire one of his best works, but also for new collectors to branch out and discover something new. Thank <laughs> you.